Mr. B and Mrs. B Rain Dump Awesome Oh yeah Like the bomb Hi welcome to the Brain Dump uh, In this video I'll awesome. show you how to do an oil change on MT-09 That includes the uh, oil filter obviously I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible and I'll kind of make it more like a cooking recipe because there's hundreds and thousands of oil change videos out there I'm just going to show, show what it's like for the MT-09 if you've never seen one before it'll still have everything in it I just want to try and cut it down a little bit without any waffle like this waffle <laughs> okay so first things first let's talk about uh, what you need here we've got a oil filter remover chain okay tool um, if you've got another tool that does oil filters that's great but this will this will do most oil filters uh, and that's why I've got one um, a glove to protect your hand from the oil when it comes out because it's going to be hot running in the bike of course a 17mm uh, uh, ratchet uh, obviously a funnel for the oil, a new uh, oil filter, I like to use K&N, got a K&N air filter, got a K&N uh, oil filter as well. An old mim empty milk carton or container that will hold at least six point, uh, sorry, at least 2.3 litres, something like that I think it is. Uh, anyway, it holds at least 3 litres uh, and this is like a 3 litre one and that's for the old oil, we're going to put that in there so that we can take it to the uh, disposal site when we're finished. Um, I got two, uh, you just get buy one, get one free, I don't know why. But anyway, some plug washer, okay, a new one, um, and some uh, some oil of your choice. Uh, and I like to use silkily, because I've used that since I was a wee lad. Okay, and that's fully synthetic, uh, is what I'm putting in mind. Uh, you can see it there on the screen anyway. Uh, and a bowl to catch the oil in. Uh, I like to use a white bowl, because if there's any bits, which there shouldn't be on this, fingers crossed, but it helps you see uh, if there's any bits um, in the oil, which might be a sign of engine wear. I'm not sure if the MT-09 has a magnetic uh, sump plug or not. We will find out once we get it off. But anyway, that's everything you need uh, to do the oil change. All right, simple as that. Right, let's crack on then. Uh, the first thing to do is run the bike, make sure you get it warm. Okay. Now, I know that Mrs. B is upstairs having a nap. Now, the bike's pretty much warm already because I've already been running it, but for the sake of the video... <laughs> So once the bike's warm, bowl underneath where the sun plug's located, and here, that's it there, that's quite warm. Okay, um, so important here, all right, now as everything's upside down, uh, just remember the rule on a ratchet, righty tighty, lefty loosey, I don't know if I'm in focus and that's probably way too close anyway, but anyway, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Make sure it's on lefty loosey to take off the sump plug. If you've got it on righty tighty, you know what's going to happen, don't you? You're going to strip your sump, thre sump threads. Okay, right, lefty loosey. On there. Okay, it shouldn't be that tight. Whoa. It's for service. Oh, yeah, pipe's off. Wow, really? I'll tell you what, that's been talked more than necessary. <laughs> okay, what I'll do is I'll use my glove to undo the bolt the rest of the way. And hopefully I should be able to catch the plug. Okay. Let me catch it. Oh, look at that. It doesn't have a magnetic Okay, so that's the oil coming out. Uh, by the way, this is on um, 2,400 miles now. Um, it's already had its first service um, at 500. I know this is earlier than what they would do in the garage, but it's my bike. I want to put my oil in and I want to put my oil filter on. So I'm servicing it now because it's worth it. Right, so we just let that drain. Now while that's draining, what we also want to do is get the uh, oil filter off and let that drain as well. Right, I've just been and bought, sorry I thought I was recording, um, I've gone and bought a band type oil filter remover because the oil put this on um, at the service centre, over tightened it and didn't lube the o-ring quite clearly. I've tried uh, my chain 
oil filter remover which basically sank its teeth into the oil filter and then started cutting into it so that wouldn't work screwdriver method wouldn't work either because the filter is like paper and it just started ripping so that's no good so I've gone and bought another tool and it's a band filter thing and it's about the best thing there is out there for getting rid of um, poorly administered oil filters and I will be complaining so I've been tugging on it and I finally finally got it undone with this, this brilliant tool um, That is really annoying. That is, I can't describe to you how over tight that was. If you're dealing with other people's bikes and some numpty put on the filter beforehand, this is the tool for getting off any filter, totally works. And it's called a band oil filter remover. Perfect. But, look, you can see where I'm trying to get it undone. Um, it just cut into it. Um, and that that o-ring although it's been lubed by the fact of me taking off um, the filter it's, it feels rough and the reason why it feels rough is, is it wasn't lubed when it was first put on and that's why it wouldn't come off and it was also over tightened hopefully you can see the black ring okay that black ring shows that the bike got hot with a dry ring touching it and it was also way 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 too tight okay how to put on an oil filter <laughs> uh, one oil filter I've got a protective cover on it right now uh, what you want to do before you take that cover off get your oil open Okay. Bring the seal. Just clean my hands a bit. Right. Yeah, it's all nice and clean in there now. Okay, to put on an oil filter, take off the plastic cover. Like so. Now this ring is dry, okay? Now, what you need to do to ensure that this comes off <laughs> when you put the filter on is you need to lubricate it, okay? Otherwise you won't get it off again, as I've just been through. So, it's very straightforward. Dip your finger in your oil and give it a nice coat all the way around, like so. Lovely. Okay. That's how you put on an oil filler. Oh. Like a boss, you could say. <laughs> right. Hand tight when you put it on. Just hand tight. Sorry, I'm not having a go at the audience. Obviously, I'm just a bit annoyed at the person that did my service. The free one. Oh, something else to check as well. Make sure that the O-ring is on the old filter and not still stuck to the engine. <laughs> Otherwise that won't go very well. So make sure you, you know, obviously when you clean it you should see that there's no O-ring on it. Right. I'm doing this hand tight. Okay, hand tight, and then there's a 17. That's the beauty of the K&N. Yeah, it's a 17. Hand tight, and then a little nudge with the spanner. A little nudge with the spanner. That's it. <laughs> right, okay. 
Um, next bit is getting the uh, new sump plug back in. Um, I'm just going to lift the right bike right out, right up back the other way, just to make sure there's all the wheel is out. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm getting a little bit more out there. Look. <laughs> uh, hopefully you can see that. There's a bit more coming out. Get all that horrible old stuff out. If you can't hear it, you can uh, see it. You can probably hear it coming out. There. Lovely. So we'll let that finish draining, uh, and then um, we'll put the new sump plug in. And then we'll fill her up. I'll be back in a minute. So, some plug back in. Nice and clean, some plug. Hand tight. And then. Uh, righty tighty. That's all it is, monkey boy. Right, okay. Sorry, it sounds like I'm having a go at you, the people watching. It's, obviously, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just really annoyed that such a, such a simple job that a service centre can do. What? How can you get that wrong, really? There we go. Right, bike's level. Okay, I think I can get it about there. Uh, and there's the uh, fill glass. Okay, so that's cool. Right. So I want 2400. Or watch the fill glass, of course. Okay, getting action on the fill glass now. Hopefully you can see. Just past the lower level at the moment. Now you've got to remember that the oil filter hasn't got any oil in it yet. So I'm going to fill it to the max level. Uh, camera shut off. I've just moved you around to get the. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty close to the full level now. Uh, you might be able to just see it there. But what I'm going to do, I've not started the bike up yet. Um, I'm going to put the drain plug back in. Sorry, um, the, the plug back in. And just start the bike up to fill the um, oil filter up because that oil filter will be empty. So I'm just going to do that now. And you'll probably see this oil disappear uh, if I have my bike key. Okay, so I've got my keys. That helps. Now what you're looking for is um, this oil level to drop down because what it will do, it will force the oil around the system and it will fill the oil filter up which will mean that there will be less in the bottom. Just run it for a little bit to fill up the oil filter, and uh, you should see that you might get a bit come back into the glass if you're lucky. But more often than not, it means you've got to put a fair bit more in. So obviously we need to top it up. So let's do that now. Uh, we're at the right fill level now. Perfect. Bike's level. Uh, all good. Uh, and that's it. We're good to go. Keep checking for leaks from the oil filter and the sump plug. Uh, no leaks as yet. And you saw how tight I've done it. Uh, so the jobs are good um, and that's it. Okay, so um, that's all the oil change done. Now my drain plug, <laughs> uh, my oil cap fell in this bowl, which is a pain. 
but it doesn't matter because I've got to dispose of this old oil responsibly. So, that's what I'm going to do now. So, I'll just get my bolt. And, here we go. Uh, and then I take this to the recycling centre. Uh, and I will also be able to fish out my sump plug. <laughs> I don't like the colour of this oil. Mm. I also dropped a rag in there. Right, let's just wipe that off a sec. Fish out my cap. There it is. Right, we'll get that cleaned off. And then we're taking this to the tip. Okay, um, uh, and that finishes it up for this one. So all I'll say is, uh, don't forget to ride safe, ride invisible. Comments down below. Uh, uh, I hope you found that useful. Any questions? Obviously, please ask. And we'll see you on the next one. Mr. B and Mrs. B bring dump awesome. Oh yeah, like the boss. Awesome, like the boss. Oh yeah, awesome.